Hi there. Are you seeing this error when you open Elementor? If yes, then don't worry. I've been there. And in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to fix this loading issues. One of the reasons why Elementor may not load properly is that you have an outdated version of the plugin. In this case, you just need to update Elementor. And to do that, go to plugins and click on install plugins. You'll see an update button here. Click on it and you're good to go. If that doesn't solve the problem, it is time to fix the server configuration. Sometimes your website server can cause issues with Elementor, making it not load up properly. This is called server configuration conflict. And I know it can sound super technical, but trust me, this little trick has saved me more times than I can count. Just head over to your WordPress dashboard, find the Elementor section and click on settings. Now, click on the advanced tab, enable the switch editor loader method and click save changes. If this doesn't work, don't worry, I've got a couple more tips you can try. Another issue that you might run into is that some other plugin or theme is interfering with Elementor. So a quick fix for this is to go to your WordPress dashboard, then hover over Elementor and click on tools. Now enable the safe mode and debug bar. These settings will only load up the Elementor editor without any theme or other plugin which helps you detect the main problem. Now, I'll check if the site is loading. I'll open up an existing page on Elementor. If it loads up, it will say safe mode on in the corner, meaning that there's a plugin or theme on your site that's causing the problem. If your Elementor is not loading due to a faulty theme, then you can remove that issue by installing the Hello Elementor theme. In your dashboard, go to Appearance, then click on Themes. If you already have Hero theme installed, you can activate it and see if that fixes your loading problem. If the Hello theme is not already installed, click on add new theme, then install and activate Hello theme. If this didn't work for you, then there's an issue with the plugins you've installed. To fix that, go to plugins, click on install plugins. Now select all the plugins except Elementor and deactivate them using the bulk action feature. Next, activate each plugin one by one and see if Elementor is loading properly. This will help you to detect the bad plugin quickly and you can delete it to fix the error. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. Okay, if you are still watching this video, then don't worry. I'm here for you. I have more fixes that might work. One thing you'll want to check is the PHP version you've got running on your server. Outdated PHP can cause problems with Elementor. So go to tools and click on site health. Then head over to the info tab and scroll down until you see the server section. Now take a look at the PHP version listed here. In my case, it's 8.0.30. The good news is that as of February 2024, WordPress and Elementor require at least PHP 7.4 or higher. So I'm all set. But if your PHP version is older than that, you can reach out to your web host and ask them to upgrade it for you. That should clear up any issues and get Elementor working again. If that didn't work either, then there's a high chance that your WordPress memory is fairly limited. Don't worry, this is quite easy to fix. And to do that, go to Elementor and click on system info. You can see the PHP memory limit here. I have 256 MB as the memory limit, which is good enough. But if you have a lower memory limit, you can fix that by editing the wp-config.php file. Just follow this video to learn how to access and edit the wp-config file to increase the memory limit. All right, let's move on to the next fix. Sometimes unused widgets can make it difficult for Elementor to load properly. No need to stress though. This one's an easy fix and you just need to disable the unused widgets. Just head to your WordPress dashboard and find the plugin you want to adjust the widgets for. This plus add-ons plugin has many widgets that can cause errors on Elementor sites. So go to the widget section by clicking here, disable any widgets you don't need like this and save the changes. All right, last but not least, 
I've got one more troubleshooting tip for you. If all else fails, one of the simplest solution is to restore a backup version of your site. Elementor provides automatic daily backups and you can also create your custom backup versions to revert to later. To do that, go to Elementor, then Tools and head to the version control. Here you can select any version you want from the drop down. Once you select it, click on save changes. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.